Alright, let's get comfy here, love. Let's get comfy. By the way, guys, we're matching today. Oh, check it out. Yes, yes, my little handbag. Aren't we cute? Aren't we adorable? Aren't we? Okay, so guys, I've got Maya back with us. Oh, look at her little face down there. This is her two month update. Maya, say hi. Say hi, Maya. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Look how big she's gone from last time, guys. I don't really have to support her neck anymore. Okay, I do, but you know, like, it's not like, look, look how strong it is. It's strong, it's strong. Anyways, guys, yeah, this is Amaya now. She is nine weeks, so basically two months. This is her two months slash nine week update, okay? Yes, this is my baby. This is my Amaya. Yes, my Amaya. Hi, baby. I love your little outfit. Look. Yes, Maya Maya. Right now, I can definitely see a change of her. Let me just go back so you can see her for all those who want to see her. I can definitely see a change of her in her looks and her and her um, how she is. Um, her routines changed up and everything like that. So this might be a quick video because obviously she's hungry. She's just woke up from a nap. So um, so her bottle's literally just there cooling down. So yeah. By the way, guys, before you try and chat about feed your baby, the bottle's cooling down. You want her to have a burnt tongue? <laughs> That's what I thought. Anyways, <laughs> I have to come for you before you come for me. That's what I'm saying because you are fast. Not all of you because I love you guys. Anyways, guys, Emaya, she is nine weeks, eight months, eight months. She is two months um, slash nine weeks. I put her on her stomach and she is like doing all this. When I put her on her stomach, she like lifts herself up like she wants to crawl. So she's like, and she's moving now. So I can put her in one place and she won't be there like two minutes after. She'll be moving. So yeah, she, she's eager. She's eager to get about. I don't know why, where she's going. Where are you going, Maya? That's what I thought. That. Um, as for her head, guys, don't worry, I'm still supporting that head, okay? But her head is very strong. Her neck is very, very strong, especially for a newborn slash... If even back then when you guys say support her head, yeah, her head was her neck was calm, okay? Her neck was calm and it's strong as you can see, it's not wobbling, right? So there's support going on there. She now she, what she does is like she'll hold your fingers now, as you can see, look, she's opening them. And like can you see she wants to get up. Where are you going, Amaya? Honestly, relax. Like you'll hold her hands and she'll do this. Like where where are you going? Relax, slow your road, don't go up too fast, mate. But um, yeah, so she's very, very strong, I have to say. She's very eager, she's very alert. She's, when she's awake, she's awake. She'll look at you like around the room kind of thing. And she'll notice when you're not gone. She notices when you're not you're a bit not there anymore because she starts to cry. And then when you're back in the room, she's like, oh, <laughs> you're back. Um, I'm dead, look how high her jeans are. Put your jeans down, love, right? Relax. As I for her hair, her hair is still thick, it's still growing. Loads of people have asked me, um, how do you like not, how do you avoid your baby having that bald patch at the back? Because and personally, I think it's to do with genetics, okay? Um, but I do see that loads of babies that sleep on their back, they get that bald patch because they're always on their back kind of thing. Very thick. It's now going into like a sort of kind of wave now. So you brush it, it will go straight. When you wet it, it will go curly. And when it dries, it goes wavy. So I don't know what her hair type is like. So yeah. She's very strong on her legs. I'm not, she's not walking about, but she'll try and lift up on her legs. I don't know, like I said, I don't know where she's going. I don't know where she's in a hurry, like she's got some place to be. As for routine, I have gotten her into a routine now that um, I will do in... Hi baby! Was she yawning? Was she yawning? She's like, come on, hurry up with the video. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got into a routine now that um, I will do an updated routine, a morning routine with her. Um, so basically how I got her into a routine is... Um, like I said, I hate to say this, but wake her up from her naps. If your if your baby newborn is napping six hours in a day and awake all night, wake them up, sis. So I basically, at first, I got her to nap for two hours at a time and woke her up to feed her, and then put her back down and then woke up to feed her. So I don't want to let her sleep all the way throughout the day. So now she only sleeps. She sleeps throughout the day still, but it's like little naps. And then during the night, around 9:30, she is down. Maya, honestly, why are you headbutting me like this? Do you know what I mean? When I say that, she's like. She needs to know what's going on. She goes to bed 9.30 and then she'll sleep all the way until I'd say 5 o'clock in the morning. She'll just go eh and obviously she's what? She want, she's hungry, do you know what I mean? So I feed her, she's back again sleeping. Oh yeah, that's another thing. She's starting like cooing now. So she goes, 
<laughs> like when she looks at you and she'll smile. I think that's about it really. I think that's much of the update that I can remember what I wanted to say. I should really write things down before I come on really, you know. Follow me on my socials down below which I'll list down below also and you can um, have an update. So I'm Amaya every day and Amelia because you can't forget Amelia. She's the OG, you know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.